Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. This is actually a check-in, not a cast. We're going to take a look at this game between Tag Rock and Calvarox and just kind of passively watch it and absorb what's going on. But I have not done a check-in in a long, long time, and I figured I'd give y'all a little bit of news about what's going on with me, with the channel, and pretty much everything else that I hold dear. Um... As far as the channel directly goes, pretty big change just came about. I actually am not a partner with any network anymore, which is cool because I don't have to monetize my videos anymore. As some of you may have noticed, if you don't normally run, um, if you don't normally run ad blocker, there are no more ads on my channel because I turned all those off, and uh, I don't have to adhere to the guidelines of TGN anymore. I can pretty much post what I want when I want. Don't have to worry about any kind of crazy um, deals with people. I can't. I can do collabs and all that kind of stuff now. Don't have to worry about in-network stuff. So it just. I haven't necessarily been locked down, but it does give me a lot more freedom to do basically what I want. And I'm not going to become part of a network again. I mean, I don't really see a need to. There's not really anything that I need help dealing with. I pretty much know how YouTube operates now, so I'm just going to make my own way and see what happens. So, um, anyway, basically the only form of revenue that this generates now is Patreon and anything anybody gives on PayPal, which you guys have been so enormously generous. It, I really made nothing off the ad revenue anyway, so it's pretty much not going to change, but those of you who leave ad blocker off in order to donate to channels and that kind of thing, um, I, I don't know. It's up to you what you want to do, and I'm appreciative of anything that comes my way. Anyway, as other things go, let's see. What have I not talked about in a while? Bell. Um, as pretty much everybody knows, I got married about three months ago now, and I got to say it's fantastic. Um, I, I know that technically we're still in the honeymoon phase. haven't quite been married that long, but it's pretty awesome. I definitely would not give it up or go back. I don't know what everybody always talks about with, oh, you're going to have a ball and chain tied around your ankle and you're going to miss a single life and you know really I don't it's nice to have company in the house somebody to come home to and the food is definitely better I can say that <laughs> Belle does do a pretty dang good job cooking and I can appreciate the fact that I don't have to eat out all the time or make my own food or any of that kind of thing so anywho that is what it is. And with the whole casting thing and setting up, I actually did a PC upgrade, which if you guys are following my Twitter, at the brink, which I was so happy that that was not taken yet because that is an awesome Twitter handle. I'm just going to go right out and say it, even though I'm the one that made it up. Um, that uh, I, I posted pretty much the whole build log there. And the only thing that has changed since I posted the statistic window is I actually achieved a 5 gigahertz overclock stable, which is the single best overclock that I've ever gotten over the course of trying with two different Intel chips and an AMD chip. I never did get to 5 gigahertz stable, and I'm actually in the middle of encoding my third video at 5 gigahertz and this is about the seventh or eighth game that has run on this PC so I'm gonna say it's stable I've done my stress testing I've done everything else and it looks pretty dang good so I'm gonna leave it at 5 gigahertz and this definitely speeds things up a ton with my 3570k that is an i5 at 3.4 turbo to 3.8 for those of you who don't follow chips that much and I had mine turboed to overclocked to 4.6 um, it would take about an hour and 15 minutes to encode a one hour video and with this chip encoding a one hour video on the 5 gigahertz overclock takes about 36 minutes so it's just over half the actual time of the video in encoding which is pretty freaking awesome it saves me a ton of time and I'm able to actually use my PC while stuff is running. So the multitasking has gone through the roof, not just the raw speed. And that's pretty much the best upgrade I've ever had. I love it. The other thing I upgraded was um, I went to 16 gigs of RAM, 4x4 on two channels instead of 8 gigs in one channel 
four by two. So yeah, that is an improvement as well. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I can mention. The new house is working out fantastically well. I probably need to set up a tour for you guys. I think I can now because we pretty much got the entire house set up. Everything like we want it. So, yeah. There is a pretty cool... I, I've done a lot with the office here. I've actually gotten um, sound killing foam and lighting and a bunch of other stuff, which Bell is going to be starting a channel in just a little bit here. It's a book and movie review channel, and I'm also going to try to do a little bit of gaming related stuff with her. Um, I've actually got some of the footage for that already. I just not have have not edited and put it together yet. But uh, one reason that she hasn't been around much is that she's been incredibly busy. She actually had something screw up with her school schedule. Um, she does have her four year degree. She's going for her master's, and because of the way something panned out credit wise, she had to take a three credit hour class in two weeks and she ended up doing the entire class in seven days um, it was neurological hold on neurological physiology something like that it was a medical class I, I was extremely impressed I don't think I would have the mental fortitude to knock out that much work in seven days but she did it and she's still mentally stable if a little bit tired so <laughs> Hopefully she'll have a little bit more free time over the rest of the course of the school year. I think that's about everything that has been going on in my life. Not a whole lot else. Work is going well. You guys have been pretty freaking cool. I've been interacting with a lot more of you recently um, through private message, playing a few games with you guys. It's always cool. It. I don't know. It's like a warm, fuzzy feeling when I jump into a lobby and there's somebody there. It's like, oh, break. And I've hit up a couple people in Mumble and, you know, just get to talk to you guys and play is really cool. And uh, I, I would definitely pick up if you want to interact a bit more. Um, Facebook and Twitter links are in the description always. And I'm trying to get a little bit more active on that. Twitter is weird. I've never done Twitter before. I've been trying to maintain it for the last two weeks, and it is interesting, if nothing else. Very interesting. I'm not entirely sure what to think of it yet, but it does seem to be a pretty useful medium. Someone on Twitter, uh, Minister Phobia, that's who it was. He has the same name in FAF, was requesting that I do... Um, game reviews for upcoming games like introductory stuff for RTS games that are coming out soon watch the videos express opinions that kind of thing I'd love to hear what you guys would think about that I have thought about it in the past doing it and it just never really popped up super high on my priority list partly because there's already so many channels that do that kind of thing I'm just kind of swamped out so like you can find a ton of valid opinions on channels like Total Biscuit and that kind of thing who get actual preview copies of the game and so can talk a little bit more intelligently about it and that kind of thing. But if there's a substantial number of people who wish for that kind of thing from me, I could start doing that. I just haven't really seen a call for it. That's the first person that has specifically asked for it. So I would love to hear your thoughts on that. At the moment, it looks like Calvarox is actually getting an upper hand on Tag Rock. Although his... Nope. Never mind. Shit! That is right. He, uh, yeah. He had the game won. Holy crap! He had this game won so hard. I can't believe that happened. And that, folks, is why you protect your ACU. You do not overextend... Because that kind of crap happens. <laughs> Alright, well the game is over, so I'm going to end this ramble. As always, guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening if you stuck all the way through the video. And please let me know what you think about the topics of discussion in the comments section. I will get back with you as quickly as I possibly can. 
and definitely do check out the links in the description for any other ways to keep up with me. If you have replays that you want to send to me for me to cast, attach the replay file to an email to brinkoinsanity at gmail.com. That link is also in the description. That's how I'm taking replays now. I had enough trouble with desyncing and corrupted replays off the server. I'm just going to go after the original files from now on. And it is a pretty easy way to hand it in, so I'd appreciate you guys doing that. All right, I'm out. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.